Joining me now from Brentwood, California, financial expert and CEO of Patriot Gold Group, Jack Haney. Jack, this is a curveball, uh, but I think what we're hearing from the White House is the show will go on somehow, some way, and that somewhere in the neighborhood of uh, 50, 60 percent of the deal uh, may be ready to be signed. Uh, it is, Graham, and thank you for having me on. Uh, the cancellation of the APEC summit on the 16th and 17th of November is really a blessing. The White House is saying that 60 percent of the trade deal will still move forward. But keep in mind, China was requesting that we would draw the tariffs on about 360 billion of imports that Trump was not willing to sign yet. Right. Yeah. And, you know, it's interesting. Uh, they're, they're, I, I think the Chinese have read Donald Trump's book, The Art of the Deal, <laughs> because they're saying now a comprehensive deal in public. They're saying a comprehensive deal uh, is not likely right now because of Donald Trump's impulsive behavior. Now, again, we don't know what's going on behind the scenes. Behind the scenes, they may be saying, fine, we'll give you whatever you want, United States. But publicly, they're doing what the president often does. Uh, publicly, they are. They're saying that due to Trump's impulsive uh, behavior and nature, they're you know, not committing to a trade deal. But the reality is that Trump is not willing to sign a deal that's not in the best interest of Americans. And they know that. And he will not be willing to sign a deal that doesn't include a comprehensive package. And that's what he has committed to Americans. And, and the U.S. economy continues to be relatively strong. Relatively, I use in air quotes. So I want to get to that in a minute. But first, one of the gauges we use to read the economy is earnings, you know, earnings of, of large companies. And the earnings right now are looking pretty good. Well, you look at Facebook and you look at Apple just yesterday, uh, exceeding expectations. Uh, so the earnings are coming in very strong. Uh, it's only the unicorn IPOs such as Peloton and Beyond Meat and uh, Uber and Lyft and IPOs that came out this year with forward guidance that have no earnings or any revenue that we've seen pull back. But when you look at the behemoth companies, Facebook, Apple, uh, their earnings are exceeding expectations. And and this reading that we got of GDP at 1.9 percent, I just, I, I, Jack, I don't buy it. You know what, what I think this is a residue of? I think there are some companies, some CEOs out there who are actually watching the mainstream media. And when they use the R word, I don't use it on this program because I'm not going to fall into that trap of using the R word on this program. Uh, I think that some CEOs are falling for it and they're pulling back. But once this deal is inked with China, look out, look out. The market, the economy is going to be poised for a rocket blast upward. Jack, thank you. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One American News on YouTube. And call your cable provider and kindly demand that One American News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.